up, Sal fam? It is tea, and it's time to spill the tea on another haul. This time, it's all about coats. Coats, coats, coats. Look at all these beautiful coats that I have to show you. I'm very excited. So I'm actually doing two coat hauls. This is part one because this is all coming from the same uh, website. And then the other part two is coming up, I think, this weekend, maybe maybe Monday. This particular coat haul is all from Yes Style. Now, Yes Style, if you guys don't know, is an Asian retailer or online retailer marketplace from Asia. I think they reside in Hong Kong, I think, but they do sell quite a lot of Korean brands. So they're very well known selling Korean makeup and beauty products. And the coats that I'm gonna show you guys today are also mostly Korean brands. With that being said, most Korean brands out there tend to be a little bit higher on the price tag. However, they also tend to be better in quality. Not saying that all Korean brands have amazing quality. No, there are some retailers in there though that are known for their quality. There are two coats that I'm going to be bringing back from last year's coat haul that is still available online and I'm gonna show it to you guys again because I think it's worth showing you. And also wanna mention in this particular styling session, I'm also gonna be styling for winter. I know it's a little bit early to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, especially if you like these hauls and these styling sessions. I tend to do them a lot. I am pretty much a shopaholic. And here is the first coat that I want to show you. I want to say it is an ashy brown kind of coat. I don't have a tone of brown like this in my closet, so I picked this guy up. I was really quite happy with the stitching. It's very nice and clean. There's no uh, little threads popping out. Very good quality coat, double-breasted. It is wool, I believe. I think it's 100% wool. They do have a lining inside, and uh, it does have a tie here. Oh, look at this guy, it's so nice. It's so pretty. I love the structure. It has a nice uh, padded shoulder as well. And uh, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love, love, love. This coat was actually on clearance. So I got it for 90 USD, which is still a lot to pay for a coat. However, I'm really happy with my purchase and I'm happy that I was able to get it on clearance. So you have to be careful with the sizing on Yes Style. A lot of the times the clothing is one size. Sometimes they do give you the small, medium, large option. However, the people down there in Korea or even in Asia in general tend to be a lot tinier than those from North America, like me. So I like to tend to size up when it comes to clothing. If I'm going to buy a top, I mean, you could maybe get away with a small. However, with coats and anything that has to do with bottoms, I tend to size up to a medium. <laughs> I want to show you is a blazer suit set. Now let's talk about the positives of this set. I absolutely adore the color of this blue. I don't know what kind of blue to call this, but it's bomb. I, I love it, love it, love it. However, I'm a little bit disappointed in the way that the blazer fits me. So this guy does come with the matching trousers. I want to show you that first. I feel like this blazer is best suited for those that have 
um, a tinier frame at the top. So I'm gonna put it on so you guys can kind of like see what I'm saying. You see how there's no structure in the shoulder area and the arm, upper arms anyways. Okay, well I have like a big shirt under here, but the upper arm area is tighter. So it this blazer is gonna set a lot nicer on a tinier frame at the top and girls with skinnier arms in general because I tend to have bigger upper arms. I do love the set. Oh, just so bummed about the blazer. So this pant sits about just above my ankle. So it is cropped. For those of you that are shorter than me, 5'5", five five, it's going to work well for you. Or even those in my height range, this sits really nicely just above the ankle. I don't mind that at all. It's really nice for a slim boot look. Um, really nice with a pair of heels. I chose a size medium and as you can see, the blazer kind of barely fit me so maybe I should have gone for a size large. However, if I did go for a size large then I don't think the trousers would have fit me as well. So it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. I went for a size medium and they do have options for a small, medium, large. This guy was not a bad price. I think this was a fair price, 46 USD for the set. loving blue particularly navy blue a lot and I've been picking up quite a few pieces for my closet and so the next coat I'm going to show you is a navy blue double breasted I think this is a cotton blend trench coat and I absolutely love the structure of this coat it is another menswear inspired coat and quality wise it is a five star so I give it an A plus the fit is a little bit oversized not too oversized but it has a really nice structure to it I do just think this coat is awesome so as you can see it does have a little bit of padding on the shoulders it looks good I like it I like it a lot the price of this though was a little expensive is a hundred USD no wait a hundred and six USD I think it's worth it it's really nice and lightweight it's perfect for fall I love it I wanted to add another puffer coat into my coat collection and I wanted to choose a color that I didn't have. I think I have like a black and a red one and I now own a camel one. Well you can call him camel, you can call him caramel, toffee, like a dark toffee, really cute 
padded puffer coat. The arms in this guy is a little bit tight, but I think it still looks fine with a bulky sweater underneath. It's a little short in the arms, so if you do have longer arms, this might not be the coat for you. What I like about it though is that invisible magnetic button that just snaps closed. It's so efficient, easy, simple. Oh, I love it. Yes, it has two pockets here as well. I do think this is a one size coat, so don't quote me though. Check the link below. Maybe they do have sizes, I can't remember. However, I do think that the price on this coat was really good. This was 51 USD and I think this coat is a pretty good deal. this coat on a super steel. I only got him for 35 USD and I'm happy that I paid that price and not full price. I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit. But first, let's just go over the positives. First of all, the color is gorgeous. It's like a beigey kind of yellow. It has that yellow undertone in there, but definitely also looks very beige. Um, it is a double-breasted, again, menswear type of coat with the two lapels and a tie. And um, the negatives, well, negative-wise, I'm going to have to say I don't like the workmanship, uh, especially in the way that they stitched the coat together. I guess you have to see it a little bit better in person. I don't know if it will show very well in camera but I don't know, the stitching does not look fantastic to me. I like this coat because the price was right on it and the color is fantastic. It's a gorgeous yellow beige color and I'm all for it. Digging it, digging it. sure why I picked this up because I already have a black wool oversized coat <laughs> but I think it's because the price was just too good to pass it so I paid about 45 USD for this oversized black I don't think it's wool but it's some kind of blend coat I don't know I'm not like in love with it it's just okay I think it could be more oversized because I just feel like the in the shoulder area and the arm area it's a little too fitted for me like the arm looks wide but it's more wide in the bottom area stitching wise I mean it's just okay it's kind of like how I oh yeah no it's not not that great look little black stitch right here coming out so not that great I don't believe this is a Korean brand oak yeah I'm seeing it oh and this coat tends to lint up a little bit but anyways it was at a very affordable price. It has this obviously a tie sash detail so you can tie it here at the waist. I don't know, just an okay coat for me. It's nothing really spectacular. <laughs>
girl had to get herself an oversized black blazer. What is unique to this blazer is just when you fold up the sleeves, it has like a white pinstripe. So there is a nice little contrast going on there. This is really oversized, like extremely oversized, even for me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you think that I can still pull off this black oversized, oversized blazer. I mean, I think it's still cute and I think I can still pull it off. For a blazer, this wasn't at a bad price point. This was 40 USD. I dig this blazer still, even if it looks just a little bit droopy on me. I don't mind. I don't mind. The last two videos that I posted, one was a fall capsule lookbook and then the other one was the H&M haul. I will leave those links down below for you if you haven't watched them yet. They're fantastic by the way, you should really watch them. I styled with this particular piece because it is my all time favorite jacket blazer. I love it so much. How gorgeous is this wool blend oatmeal herringbone uh, with a contrasting sleeve blazer? and also matching, what do you call this? Um, lining. <laughs> you've already seen this jacket blazer on me if you are subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my last two videos. Oh, it's my favorite thing ever. So this jacket blazer, yes, is looking oversized on me. However, it's not as bad as the black jacket blazer because I think with the black one, the material is more light and flimsy. This one has a lot more structure because the uh, material is nice and thick. And the padding here is also thick and a little bit more upright. And I just love the quality of this blazer. And look, the matching lining here in the pocket area, super fly. This blazer is a one side and it is a little bit pricier, but it is so worth it. This was 106 USD. <sighs> I freaking love it. I am going to shoot the shit out of this guy and I'm gonna rock it on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me, follow me that so T. Let's get to styling this guy. <laughs> mentioned in the beginning of the video I want to show you guys two coats that were worth bringing back from last year because they are still available online or at least I found the one coat uh, that was sold out and then it came back but it's in a different brand name the quality looks the same but don't quote me on it because I can't for certain say that it's gonna be the same however uh, they do have different colors available. So they don't have just the white pinstriped color. They also have like a camel or a caramel 
a black pinstripe and a black just solid color so this is a kimono style knitted coat it is perfect for fall and it is a gorgeous coat i think this was like my favorite one from last year that i showed you such good quality guys it's so soft too oh, it's amazing I love it. I love it so, so much. I believe right now it's selling for 59 US dollars. I think it's on a sale right now. So if you guys do like the coat, make sure to go grab it like ASAP. still selling the faux shirling trend this season and I thought it would be worth uh, showing you this guy which I got from last year's Yes Style coat haul. It is a yummy brown <laughs> faux shirling caramel coat. I still love this guy from last year to this year. It is a great coat. It's also not bad in its price. It's pretty fair. I think it's 84 US dollars. So not bad for a faux shirling coat. Leave me a comment down below if you know that the faux shirling is still trending, if uh, this is going to be what people wear this season. Brands are still selling it, so maybe it is. If you are looking for one, this comes in two colors. One is a red, which not my style, and then this caramel brown color, which totally my style. Probably gonna shoot this again this year too. You're gonna see that on my Instagram. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to watch the part two because that one is gonna get crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the styling session that came along with this video. I'm so hungry right now. It has been a long day and I'm about to pass out. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next. Bye!